Understanding Adverbs At Grammar Songs by Melissa You know that nouns are words we use for the people, places, and things we read, speak, and write about. You've also learned that adjectives modify nouns by describing them, making the picture more clear for your reader. Happy children, busy park, juicy hamburger. This relationship between nouns and adjectives is very similar to the relationship between verbs and a part of speech known as the adverb. Adverbs, what are they? Relax, that's what we are here to learn about. Adverbs are one of the most powerful tools you can use to express yourself when speaking and writing. So open your toolbox and let's get started. You may have heard that adverbs modify verbs, but what does that really mean? Well, the word modify means to change. You know that verbs are the action words we use when we read, speak, and write. Adverbs modify or change verbs by telling how, where, or when the verb happened. Adverbs that tell how often end in ly, like loudly and swiftly. Adverbs that tell where include upstairs and there. And some adverbs that tell when are today and never. As a matter of fact, adverbs are so powerful that using them can actually change the entire meaning of your sentence. Awesome! But how? I'll show you. For example, if I write the sentence, Lance happily boarded the plane, happily is my adverb. It tells how Lance boarded the plane. He was excited. He could hardly wait to go. But if I change the adverb to fearfully, Lance fearfully boarded the plane, Lance is afraid. He doesn't want to get on the plane. By changing my adverb, I change the entire situation. Likewise, if I write the sentence, Anne hungrily ate her eggs, hungrily is my adverb. It tells how Anne ate her eggs. She sure looks happy. But if I change the adverb to sadly, Anne sadly ate her eggs, I change the entire situation. Anne sure doesn't look happy now. Maybe she doesn't even like eggs. There are a couple of keys to recognizing adverbs in sentences. First, find the verb, which is usually the action word in the sentence. Then, ask yourself how, when, or where the verb happened. So let's practice finding the adverb in some simple sentences. Amy quickly walked across the street. First, we need to find the verb, which is usually the action word in the sentence. Do you see a word that shows action? Hmm. Well, I know Amy is a girl, so she is a person. So what did Amy do? She walked. Walked shows action. Walked is my verb. Now I need to ask myself how, when, or where the verb happened. Do you see a word that tells how Amy walked? Hmm. Quickly. Amy quickly walked across the street. Quickly is an adverb telling how Amy walked. Let's look at another sentence. Hal played his harmonica yesterday. First, we need to find the verb, which is usually the action word in the sentence. Do you see a word that shows action? Hmm. I know Hal is a boy and he is a person. So what did Hal do? He played his harmonica. Played shows action. Played is my verb. Now I need to ask myself how, when, or where the verb happened. Do you see a word that tells how Hal played his harmonica? No. Do you see a word that tells when Hal played his harmonica? Yesterday. Hal played his harmonica yesterday. Yesterday is an adverb that tells when. Let's practice finding the adverb in the sentence one more time. The children ran outside. First, I need to find the verb, which is usually the action word in the sentence. Do you see a word that shows action? Hmm. 
Well, I know children are people, so what did the children do? They ran. Ran shows action. Ran is my verb. Now I need to ask myself how, when, or where the verb happened. Do you see an adverb that tells how the children ran? No. Do you see an adverb that tells when the children ran? No. Do you see an adverb that tells where the children ran? Hmm. Outside. The children ran outside. Outside is an adverb that tells where the children ran. And if I wanted to add another adverb, I could tell how the children ran outside. The children happily ran outside. Hooray! So now that you know what a powerful tool adverbs are, it's time for you to get started. Thank you for joining me at Grammar Songs by Melissa.